The first warning signal that we see in the front of the CA360 unit is a large flasher. It creates a powerful warning signal with its six LED lights. This light can also double as a portable flashlight in case of emergencies, operating off its own battery pack. As you can see, one of the biggest features of the CA360 is the display. With its large 1.8 inch tall digits, it can be seen from across the room, whether the room is lit or in darkness. On the top left side of the display, we have an AM indicator with the sunrise icon. The light will be on in the AM and goes off at 12 noon PM. Below that icon on the left side is an alarm clock icon with the number one and a light to the right of it. When you set your alarm, this light will be on until the alarm sounds and you manually turn it off. On the upper right of the display are the words master unit with a light on the left. If this light is on, it means that this unit is a master unit. If you have other units tied into the system, this light will not be on. Below that icon on the right side is an alarm clock icon with a number two and a light to the left of it. This alarm works in the same manner as the alarm number one and allows you to have two alarms set at different times. Below the display, you'll find a series of six icons that light up when they are activated. Let's take a close look at each icon. Later, the program will examine how they are hooked up and how they work. The first icon on the left is a doorbell sensor. To the right is a baby crying icon. The next two icons are phone one and phone two for people with two phone lines. The next icon is a home, which represents the audio alarm sensor. And the last icon to the right depicts an intruder for motion detection. Below the icons, we have two switches, one on the left and one on the right. These are the controls for your alarm clocks they each have the same three settings. In the far left position is the all setting, which means the master unit will start flashing, create an audio sound, and activate the bed shaker. The center position is for the bed shaker and the flasher only. And the far right is the off position when no alarm is selected. The icon in the center of these switches is a symbol for NOAA, the weather alert system. In order for this alarm to operate, you must have a NOAA weather alert radio plugged into the CA360. When a storm alert is issued, the radio will trigger the 360 to alert you. That's a quick look at the front of the 360 and its display. Let's look on the top of the unit, the left side and the right side. Then we'll get to all the jacks in the back. As you look down on the 360, you will see the large resets news button. This button performs two functions. The first is a reset. When the 360 has been activated by one of its sensors, you need to push the button to reset the sensor. The second is a snooze, and we all know what this is. Push it and get five minutes of extra sleep. A long two second press of the same button turns off the alarm until the next day. In the upper right corner, there are two buttons. The one on the left is labeled SOS test, and the one on the right is labeled motion. The SOS test button is an important button. The first function is to test the SOS mode. When it is pressed, it will activate the flasher, the bed shaker, and display the message SOS on the display. The second function is to activate the learn mode. This will allow you to link up a new sensor to the 360. The other button labeled motion is for arming the motion sensor and to reset it once it has been triggered.
On the left side of the unit, we have the volume switch. This controls the volume of the sound that the 360 generates. It has three settings, off, low, and high. The right side of the unit has a switch above and two buttons below. The top switch has four settings. The top position is labeled time. This setting is to set the clock. In this position, push the hour button to set the hour and the minute button to set the minutes. Then slide the switch to run. The other two positions are for setting alarm one and alarm two. Okay. Now that we have covered most of the CA360, let's take a look at the jacks in the back. As we look at the back of the unit, you can see a pattern of drilled holes up top. This is a speaker for the 360. On each side, there's a hole bracket for hanging the unit on the wall if desired. Below the speaker are two small hooks for anchoring the bed shaker cord to help keep it plugged in. Below the speaker are the plug-in jacks. From left to right, we have the external lap flasher, shaker one, shaker two, the AC adaptive port, phone two, phone one, and on the far right, the jack for connecting your NOAA radio. 